Jason Rosen here. I am very excited to be with Dr. Jared Bergman, who is the developer of the Hedron uh, cell phone harmonizer. Worked with um, some really cool people on getting this developed. Uh, so, Dr. Jared, why don't you tell us a little bit about the journey, uh, what led you to you know try to develop this device, and why you feel it's so important for um, for us as you know clinicians working with patients. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you know when we when we looked at people getting the correct nutrition, walking out of the office, um, and then they would get on their cell phones. We knew that that was going to disrupt the ability for that nutrition to work as well as it could. Um, so that's one of the areas that we really wanted to discover uh, uh, a solution to. Sure. Um, so the years went by, uh, we've always had things on our cell phones to try and find out what worked best never quite found something that, that was fitting for what we were doing. Um, but then we met a doctor, um, Krishna Murphy, he's a geophysicist out of India, and he do, did, does a really good job with um, putting together crystals and minerals that have a specific resonance. And working with him and his team, we finally developed the Hedron. And that um, brought us basically to a point of where we could get uh, that distributed to people so that their nutrition would finally um, work for them and, and it wouldn't be hindered. So that brings me to a question I get from a lot of doctors. They're like, how can you, how does this work? Can mm -hmm. you explain from a scientific basis how the Hedron actually works? Okay. So that, that's, that's a great question because I'm not a physicist, but... Right. <laughs> but, but um, like in a lay person's terms, how would you explain this to a patient, how this is actually working to change the frequency when it's just such a small little device that looks like a sticker, basically? Okay, yeah. perfect. So basically, we're, look, we're working with scalar waves, okay? Now these scalar waves, it, it's not to be looked at as, even though they're named scalar waves, not to be looked at as a wave, actually more of a field that surrounds the device, okay? Um, this, this technology was developed um, and discovered, I should say, 100 years ago with uh, Nikola Tesla. So the scalar waves, how I can put it as far as an explanation is concerned, you want a picture when the hedron is on a cell phone, for instance, I'll just grab mine. When it's on the back of a cell phone, it has a field around the cell phone, a spherical field around the cell phone. Okay, so when it emits the EMF wave out of it, you want to actually um, try and visualize these waves coming out of the, the cell phone, okay? And now if you tag the scalar, the scalar uh, resonant frequency on there, which is um, similar to the Schumann's resonant frequency. 783. Exactly. Now you take that 783 onto the EMF coming out and that has a balancing effect to um, whatever it comes in contact with or whatever it's near. Um, so it, it, another way to describe it is with, with the um, scalar waves uh, versus the EMF. The EMF is a constant, if, you, if your DNA could hear the noise from the EMF, it's like a constant, annoying, crazy sound. Absolutely. And, and the DNA is disrupted because it, it's crystalline in matrix. So it disrupts that resonant frequency that your DNA has. Okay, now you introduce the um, 7.83 frequency into the, um, into the mix. That's almost like putting earplugs on the DNA, okay? The EMF is there, however, um, the uh, 7.83 dampens that, harmonizes it right. more so. So, in other words, back to this cell resonance of a cell, that's how they communicate ex you know, cell to cell. Mm -hmm. And when you harmonize that cell, it can still communicate. Exactly. Through the extracellular matrix. And, um, you know, so that's why I think grounding is so popular, because mm -hmm. that's the same resonance correct that you get if you stand on the ground and do earthing. Exactly. 7.83 Schumann wave. Right, right. Very, very interesting.